I say hi and welcome to the 5th of December Christmas calendar package opening. Yeah, I bought the Christmas package calendar from Want to Sell Retro. Uh, if you want your cal calendar of your own, I am pretty sure they probably still have on their web shop. And right now I ran out of the fancy labels I made. Let me open one from yesterday so you can see how it looks. I made these myself. The reason why I made these is so I can put them in my... Uh, my nose is scratching. Um, I made these so I know where I got specifically this game from. Um, and I am putting them in these sleeves instead of the jewel cases they come in. Um, so I do want to put out a disclaimer. I'm going to do that for each of my videos. Oh, my nose is scratching. Annoying. No, never mind. Um, there is, as I said, disclaimer. If you have bought the uh, Christmas packet calendar from Want to Sell Retro, I don't recommend you watch these uh, series because I'm not sure if you got the same game as I did the same day or you got it from a different day or whatnot. So I'm not taking any chances to do any spoilers for you. If you have the package, uh, bought the package, uh, Christmas calendar packages, uh, don't watch. Uh, wait until the after the 24th of December to actually watch and see what you probably got. Um, maybe I should also mention that uh, I really want to know what if you got the Christmas calendar package, what did you get in your uh, daily uh, package or not? So I'm going to open this uh, package for the 5th of December. And of course, I'm recording this on the 4th of December, so I so I don't have to record a video on Christmas Eve. Um, so, yeah, I'm one of those taking my time actually on packing. Ooh, XCOM Terror Defense Force. Ooh, let me show you. There, there it is. Ancient Death Watch. I don't know that one. Paintshop Shop Pro. That one I do know. <laughs> I, I used Paint Shop Pro back in the day where before I actually learned to use Adobe, Adobe Photoshop. Um, and I was making, um, how do you say, roughly web graphics and stuff like that. So, yeah. Was this Robo Maze 3? Ooh, and Christmas jetpack. Amazing. This is one of the games. Um, how do you put it? I think I started up I, specifically the XCOM Enemy Unknown. That's the one I opened back in the oh, oh, um, back in the days when I was young. Um, and I gave it a few turns until I I think I built some my base and I attacked two or three times and then I gave up um, the game was a bit too advanced for me in my young days because um, this requires somewhat of uh, strategy and good uh, uh, <laughs> you, you need a kind of a bit of brain to actually complete these games so as uh, the other games, I am going to take it out of this plastic, uh, if I can. Uh, I know there is one of those uh, unwrapping uh, stickers in it, but I'm going to cut it anyway. Of course, when you throw this out, throw it out in your plastic recycle. There are specifically bags or the recycle centers where you can put this kind of plastic. Oh. It has the smell of New Year. I'm not sure how to. Actually, I'm a bit worried about that because the disc smells like mold. Maybe it's just me. 
but the package actually, the, the jewel case actually has the smell of, um, you, mean, you know, the, the powder from New Year's when you put the, the table puppers and poop. Um, smells like that. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I have my fancy sleeves ready. So I'm going to unwrap it from my jewel case here. And this one I am going to throw out in the uh, hard plastic recycle center also. As I said earlier, I am downsizing my um, collection because I have so much that I have absolutely no room for expansion anymore. So I'm also putting them in these sleeves to uh, somewhat protect them as well. Then I'm going to the disc. Uh, the cover. And there it is. And of course, I'm going to put uh, this fancy note in my I made myself. Reason for that is so I I can when I open this, let's say I don't get around to play this for maybe a year. I get down there, I find this one, take it and open it, and I see this note, that means I know where I actually bought the uh, game, and I'm going to put it in here as well. Um, yeah. So that was it for today. Um, this was definitely well, not a game I played when I was younger, but it was part of... Uh, I played the Enemy Unknown, uh, not the uh, Terror for Terror, what was it? Terror and Defense Force. Yeah, that's how it. But um, I am definitely going to give it a try at some point. I do think I have it on Steam though. So, but again, having this in my collection as a physical media is still nostalgic to me. Uh, there's some, some something about having the digi digital version of this. Yeah, you, you, it's easy, but having the physical media of the game is somewhat different. Um, yeah. <coughs> okay. And there we have it. So I thank you for watching and... Um, Feel free to watch again tomorrow. Bye-bye.